Big time fight at 185 pounds this weekend. We have Mahmoud Murata taking on Gerald Mearshart. Matt, Gerald Mearshart, rest in peace, probably feels a little bit like Nate Dogg and Tupac's All About You because it goes a little bit like this. Every other city we go, every other video, no matter where we go, I see the same foe. Because for Gerald Mearshart, they just keep lining him up with these guys that can absolutely box his ears in. And sometimes, like an Oscar Piata, he can get the win on the Ultimate Fighter finale. And sometimes he gets Hamzat Shemaev, and he gets KTFO, as the kids say, as they type out on the socials. Matt, for Gerald Mearshart, this guy is a grappler to the nth degree. He has good sneaky cardio for the middleweight division. He has decent takedown abilities. And if you look at it for Gerald Mearshart, as I make a Matt type mistake there and just continue to say his name over and over again, his last fight, he took on Bartosz Fabinski, judo is best. And Gerald Mearshart submits him easily. I said before that fight, either Bartosz gets a takedown and gets that top position with his shoulders and his heavy pressure, or Gerald Mearshart beats him by defensive submission. One of those things happened. And he beat him by submission in that fight. So for Mearshart, he definitely is a great grappler. He's taking on the money team's own uh, great fighter in Mahmoud Muradov. This is a guy representing Uzbekistan, where we continue to see that Uzbek uh, invasion in MMA. He has great boxing. He has a great L-step. He is quick to the punch. He can definitely cut the cage well. He can also throw that lead hook out there to cut distance, to then throw his right hand out there. He's such a special fighter. And if you really want a good clip, of a Mahmoud Muradov video from the Fight Night Picks Anthology. Insert Matt's Price is Right clip. And, and you know that game in uh, The Price is Right where it's like... So for Mahmoud Muradov, really, really special fighter. For Gerald Mearshart, this guy, we've seen him out of Rufus Sport in the past. And don't get me wrong, he's still there. But I saw he took the trip down to uh, Florida not that long ago to get Philip Rowe ready for his last fight. Hey, Rowe. Wow, looked absolutely amazing. So maybe there is a big time future. And I think that there will be for uh, Gerald Mearshart in coaching when he's done fighting. But Mearshart, really special grappler. Mahmoud Muradov, really special fighter. Great defensive hips, really good takedown defense. I'm not afraid of him on the ground. I think he's a future top 15 fighter. I think he's going to move up the rankings. I think he's great. Could Mahmoud Muradov fight Bruno Silva next? It's just no, an I idea, but I think it's a gonna pretty get a good one. Fighter. He's going to get a rank fighter. Yeah, and, hey, you're probably right. But just for me, if Matt Allen could have won this year, that would probably be it. It'd be a great fight. And I have no idea who would win. I just know it wouldn't go to a judge's decision. Adelaide Bird could sit at home. We wouldn't really need her to mess one up. And here's the problem. And you really did set it up perfectly. They keep on giving Gerald Mearshire these absolute monsters. And it's time to stop. Insert the filthy Frank clip. Because it really is. Like, he's had to go through this gauntlet before. And he's had mixed results. Because, hey, sometimes Gerald mearshire has been able to beat the young up-and-comer. I always go back to the Duran win fight because people were hyping Duran went up hey he's kind of like daniel cormier i understand he's short and fat but it's kind of good sometimes that's what they were saying gerald mearshart proved in that fight though that i have really good cardio and he had sneaky uh stand up in that fight that's really what set up the sequence for him to finish it was it was a left straight hurts win gets him to the ground then submits him that's really where gerald mearshart's at his best where he's putting his combinations together and he's landing some straight shots and he's forcing his opponent to shoot on him because the thing about Gerald Mearshart is he's a great grappler he is not a great wrestler though and I really think that that's going to be to his detriment in this fight he can out wrestle guys who are good strikers but Gerald Mearshart always does have trouble against guys who have a wrestling background even look at the Ian Heinish fight I know Ian Heinish showed up Bangkok ready for that fight but still Heinish wrestling background he was really able to defend uh the takedowns of Mearshart beat him up on the feet isn't that all of Mahmoud Muradov's game? It's, hey, I'm going to defend the takedowns and beat you up on the feet. And this is the problem with Gerald Mearshart. What is my favorite attribute a fighter can have? It is speed. Speed kills in the cage and outside of the cage. The problem is that Mahmoud Muradov is way faster than Gerald Mearshart. When Mearshart throws strikes, he's so slow rechambering them that Muradov should be able to land one of those big shots from him. And we've kind of seen this before. We were talking about before you were saying this could look like the Hamzat Shemaev fight. Even with Mahmoud Muradov, it's kind of interesting. Go back to the Trevor Smith fight. 
What he did to Trevor Smith was gross. It wasn't that fun to watch. He flatlined him, and it was because Trevor Smith was extending his punches, and he wasn't bringing them back in time. And the great thing about Muradov is he's comfortable in those close-range pockets. I'm not worried that he's going to get into the pocket and then get clipped because of it. I think he's going to go into the pocket and then be the one doing the damage. And against Mearshirt, I think those opportunities are going to show themselves for him to do the damage. Wait. To give you an idea, and I mean, you don't have to go back and watch the video. I'll eat the humble pie. I had the Muradov fight against Andrew Sanchez as really close. You picked Muradov. I picked Andrew Sanchez because he's got that two-time NAIA championship status from the wrestling. He has that stand-up ability now with his weird karate stance. But if he went for the wrestling, if he just went to his roots, like the old Andrew Sanchez that used to really kind of not conserve his gas tank. Who would get tired in three minutes. I thought Andrew Sanchez would have a great opportunity to win that fight. Muradov won it. He just continues to win against good level fight. Again, Trevor Smith, wherever you, you, you find him, you find him. But you look at it so far in the UFC, DiCirico, Trevor Smith, Andrew Sanchez, Ramir Shart, the five on in, Anders, split decision loss, Duran win, Ian Heinish, Hamzat Shemaev, and then he beats Bartosz Fabinski, and that's a great win. But Bartosz Fabinski doesn't fight anything like Mahmoud Muradov. And I think Muradov is one of those kryptonite X factor guys. And I think a lot of people that were betting on this fight thought that too, because he went from a minus 235 at open to a minus 531 for Mearshart open from a two a plus 200 to a plus 384. I haven't looked at the topology votes. Let's play a game, Matt, of you referenced Plinko before. Are we going right side of the board or left side of the board? Right side is 95% have Muradov. You think it's over or under 95%? I think it'll be like 93. So I'll say under, but just slightly. 92% have Muradov to win. 85% by knockout. For the 8% that have Mearshart, 56% by submission. I'm in the 92%. Um, yeah, I've got I've got Mahmoud Muradov in this fight. I think this launches him into a fight. I know Brendan Allen was looking for a big fight, and he was looking for a really big name. Who did he want? He wanted uh, last weekend's main Paul event. Paul Craig. Did he not? Or Paul yeah, Craig. He was calling out guys at light heavyweight too, yeah. I, I think Mahmoud Murata, Brendan Allen's a fight to make at 185 pounds. One, I think that's a great fight. Yeah, and again, I think Murata was probably going to be winning this one by stoppage. I know I said that about Cannoneer Gaslam and did not come true, but again, Murata's got that kind of power, and I don't think Mearshart's the type of guy who can really absorb those shots round after round. Because that's the thing about Murata. He doesn't just have the power in that first round because it is cl really clean technique. He's got great power in the second and third round as well. Matt, both of us going with Ankos MMA's own, Uzbekistan's own, Mahmoud Muradov to get the win. I can't wait for this fight because, hey, Jeremy Mearshart wins. I mean, that's two big ones in a row. But we've got a big time card coming up. Andre Petrovsky is taking on a really tough out. In Michael Gilmore, you get the Ultimate Fighter finale at 185 pounds. Battle taking on Urbina. And then in the main event, oh boy. Edson Barboza taking on Giga Chikadze. You're not going to want to miss that. Keep locked in with Fight Night Picks, as we always say. Let's get into 